Well, today's a good day, because it's a day that's just started with a lovely common. Just caught this fish from Western Park up in Shropshire, and it's a lake where it's absolutely covered across the bottom with silkweed, which isn't the easiest situation in which to present your bait. But as you can see, we've managed it successfully to put this fish on the bank. So what I'll do is slip this fish back and just go through with you a few tips that's going to help you catch fish when you're faced with the dreaded silkweed. So here we go. What we were talking about earlier, the dreaded silkweed. If you ever cast a lead out into a lake and found some of this, you'll know, just as I found out yesterday, that it just literally grabs around everything, around your lead, difficult to get off, it's all stuck to your fingers, just real horrible stuff. You'll also notice it's quite a long, stringy, fibrous sort of weed, but don't be fooled into thinking this is growing off the bottom in a vertical direction. It actually grows quite long, but then lies in a horizontal direction across the bottom. And what will happen is with undertoes and other things going on out in the lake, it will move over a 24 hour period. So what you can find is that you cast out and this can easily engulf your rig, cover it up and make it not gonna, unfishable, you're not gonna get a bite from it. So my first tip is a pretty obvious one. Use a presentation that's gonna leave that hook bait displayed and in a good position for a carp to take it. So the first presentation I'm using, this is the presentation I actually caught that fish on is a solid bag but with a little bit of a difference. 99% of the time I use a small bag. It can make them really compact, they cast a lot straighter, a little bit more accurate, you can get them out a little bit further. But for this session and due to the weed I'm using the solids and I've stepped up to the medium size. It gives me a much bigger bag so when that bag is on the lake bed the PVA dissolves there's actually a good six to seven scoops of pellet in that bag. That spreads into a nice little area and it, and it gives a little area for my balanced wafter within that to just sit nicely, well presented, gives me a good chance of a take. The other rig that I'm using is an old faithful, is my hinge rig. And again, there's a key difference with this rig. The boom section, straight away you can see it's very supple i'm using an iq boom section there because of that subtlety because it's nylon it's still got that that memory that you're not going to get any tangles but this is just going to come down nice and slowly and that boom section is going to sit nicely over the silkweed i've made it quite long as well probably eight to ten inches long just the boom section and again there's a good reason for that and that's like I was saying the weed will move along the bottom engulfing things if that happens my boom section may become covered by the weed but it's long enough that my hook link section the stiff section at the end there is still going to be proud of the weed still going to give me an opportunity of catching the fish so there you go there's a couple of tips just for your rigs, just a couple of little tweaks that can just help you catch more fish in the siltweed. Okay, 
tip number two. And again, it's only a little tweak. I'm feeding link boilies. So what I've done is I've just taken some of them and chopped them in half. Just because when I spawn them out, those halves, they just come down, settle through the water just a little bit slower. They'll sit on top of the weed. I'm quite happy to have the whole boilies down in the weed, the carp will rummage around, they'll soon find them. But any carp cruising around, especially in this hot weather up in the layers, they're going to notice those halves just settled on the top of the weed. So that's my tip number two. Chop a few up, give yourself a better feeding area. Okay, now for my third and final tip, and that is don't be afraid to recast regularly when you're fishing over this stuff. As I've already said, this type of weed, it can move around on the bottom, easily engulfing your, your rig and your presentation. Say you get a change in the wind direction, that could be enough to move the weed around. So, as a rule of thumb, if ever you feel like you should have had a take and you haven't had it, maybe you've seen some fizzing out there, fish showing, or some liners or anything like that, and you feel, by now, I really should have had a fish, then it can be a good idea to reel it in, get a fresh presentation all ready to go, clip up, back on the spot. So there you go, a few simple tips that hopefully help try and catch a few more fish when you're fishing over silkweed.